<laughs> Hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And on today's video I'm planning to finish up working on my skid plates, uh, mainly to interconnect my front skid plate with a newly acquired bumper. So that is my goal. So let's see if that's gonna work out or not and how it's gonna look. So I already made some of the, the templates and my plan is just to make two, two simple bands and then it's gonna go in here and then I'm gonna tie in to the bolts over here. So that is my plan. Let's see if that's gonna work out or not. So you can see guys over here I have uh, my plate that I'm gonna be working on and I already have hopefully all the measurements are right what I need to do here. So my plan is to Give two inches over here, make a cut along the way, bend this. Then 10 inches down, I'm gonna make another cut and another bend. So that way it's gonna meet my template. Uh, these edges I'm gonna actually cut out completely. And then I have another inch I'm planning to bend inwards for support. Hopefully that's gonna do something over there. I don't know. And then over here, I already marked all my intakes for the air, for the radiator. Uh, <laughs> I guess hopefully that's gonna be all right as well um, I don't know if this is too many holes I'm making over there or not but this should be fine so I'm just gonna drill all of this out and for that I'm hoping to use these two hole saws one is a two inch and one is one inch and three quarter the three inch and three quarter for the top and two inch for the bottom five holes and and yeah let's see if that's gonna work out or not so first I'm gonna cut out all the extra metal uh, make all the lines for where I'm gonna make bends and start cutting this out. And also before I start cutting this, I'm thinking to make a little punch over here so the drill bit doesn't go all over the place. And now I'm gonna secure this and start cutting this edge out. Okay, and this piece is out. But I also have to cut this out because because this is going to be 25 inches and that's what's going to be connected to the bumper and then over here I'm planning to have it kind of sloped out to meet with my skid plate so that's the plan <laughs> And now with the bigger cutter wheel, I'm gonna enlarge this groove. So whenever I make the bend, there is more space for the metal to bend without hitting and interfering on the, on the groove over here. So I'm gonna start with a little bit. And as I'm bending it, if I see I need to make a bigger groove, I'm gonna make it more and more. I'm gonna repeat the same procedure for all the grooves over here, wherever I need to make the bends. And then I'm actually gonna drill these holes out. So now with a brand new and sharp drill bit, I'm planning to make all these pilot holes over here in the middle where the, the bit has to go through. And then I'm gonna use this because this drill bit is not sharp. So that's why I wanna pre-drill pre it. And then I'm gonna start using the, this hole saw and hopefully I can cut all these holes. And not to burn the drill bit, I'm gonna be putting oil over here and I'm gonna be cutting at a very slow speed. And just like that, I'm gonna cut all the holes. It's gonna be a slow process, but it's better to do it slow and not to burn the drill bit. All right, and that's the last of them. So all the holes are through now. So now I can switch my drill bit to the hole saw and start making these holes. So I have used these hole saws before, but usually just drilling the wood or a very thin sheet of metal. I never drilled so many holes and through this kind of thick metal. So I don't know if this is gonna work actually in the end or not, but I'm gonna try it anyways. I don't know what's gonna be the end result. It's kind of working, but it's going to leave it all over the place but at this point i have no choice i have to continue so let me see what's gonna happen and i'm gonna show you the end result all right guys 
and I got first hole out. I right, take some use to it. Gotta go slow and hold it very hard. Luckily, I have the handle over here, and hopefully, this is still sharp. So, gonna try to cut them all, and we'll see. We'll see what's gonna be the end result. Two thousand years later. All right, guys. Who? And I drilled them all out, and the hole source are still sharp. Both of them. I didn't burn them or anything, didn't break them. The important part is to go slow and steady. <laughs> and as you can see, it's all done. All of these edges, gotta be careful, they're very sharp. So I'm gonna file them all around to make it not sharp. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start bending this plate, actually. All right, so now I'm gonna try to make all the bends. Uh, make sure it fits in the, between the bumper and the, my existing skid plate. So I can mark where I'm gonna drill the holes. Now on this bend, I need to make approximately 38 degrees bend, so that's what I'm gonna try to do now. Once I get this done, I'm gonna work on this one. So my bends are done for the main parts over here, so now I'm gonna be working on these edges. I will bend them and see what I need to cut. I need to cut over here for sure and I need to cut out a little bit over here. Gonna see one more time how it fits over there. I already have my marks for the main bolts to the bumper. Gonna drill those out. Gonna try one more time how it, see how it fits. And then gonna start welding this. All the bends are done. Uh, I bend in the edges over here and over here. I didn't go all 90 degrees on them because um, I want to. <laughs> uh, this should be fine. And if I bend this more, then it might interfere with radiator. But this way it's not going to interfere and I don't have to cut it. And it's still going to give more support. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to work on welding all the edges around. So as always, I tried my best to clean this side because this is going to be on the outside. Uh, it's not the best, but I don't want to go too deep anyways to weaken the, the weld over here. Once this is painted, hopefully it's not going to be that visible. And on the inside, it's all welded, it's all cleaned up. And once again, on the inside, I'm not even going to grind this or anything. Uh, let it be in there <laughs> for extra support or something. So now I'm going to make three holes over here for the screws for the bumper. And then over here, four holes to interconnect it with my current plate. So now I'm actually gonna paint my skid plate. The one is going up. I'm gonna paint it with uh, gonna paint it with semi-gloss uh, Rust-Oleum paint, black. I think it's gonna be better. Eh. I think this is a little bit too much like that. I still gonna keep the underneath uh, silver color, but this I'm gonna paint black. Okay, guys. So I drill all the holes for the bolts where I'm gonna mount to the plate coming from the radiator and this is gonna be mounted to the to the bumper. I also worked on these holes, I got a, a rounded file and I run and I worked on the inside to take off all the rough edges. So now what I'm gonna do, it's already actually, I already cleaned it, degreased it. 
So first I'm gonna paint the whole thing with a clean metal primer. Then on the inside I'm gonna paint it with a, with a flat black paint and our outside I'm gonna paint it on a semi-gloss paint because that's what I painted the, the radiator plate that is coming up over there so just to keep it the same. But yeah, now we're just gonna be painting it and when it's all painted, dried, just gonna mount it and hopefully it's still gonna fit and it's gonna look good. All right, and the skid plate is done, it's all painted. So now let's just mount it on and see how it's gonna look and if it still fits in there. Okay, let's put it in. Okay, now for the top over here, I'm gonna reuse the bolts, uh, the original skid plate that the skid plate from this bumper came with. They are still good bolts. Gonna put a washer and a screw on both sides. Okay, not gonna make it tight yet. I still wanna align all the bolts and holes first. Make sure it all aligns. Okay, the top three are in place. So now for the holes over there, I'm gonna be using M10 bolts, the 25 millimeter, with a 10 millimeter washers on both sides and 10 millimeter uh, nuts, which are flanged as well. And everything is at grade 8. Okay. And luckily there is enough space behind the radiator to slide in there and put the washers and bolts. And that's it guys, the skid blade is done. I think it came out rather fantastic. Uh, I really like how it came out. Maybe it's not the best, maybe it's uh, not as refined as the other one, but I still like it the way it came out. Looks way better now than before. And I really like that they painted it black. It actually looks better. So let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, it does overlap a lot with the existing plate. And the reason why I also left more space on this additional plate is because if I ever decide to do a body lift I'm gonna be two inch higher so this bumper will need to be moved up and hopefully that will allow me to slide this skid plate up and just re-drill a new holes on this plate and it's still gonna be functional unless I decide to change this to something else but other than that I think it came out pretty good I know there it, this gap over here sticks out a little bit, there is nothing you can do about it, but I don't think it should matter. And all those ventilation holes over there for the radiator are all functional. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like that. And in the inside over here I have plenty of space. I think it's pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. So this was another great project that I really enjoy doing it and I really like the outcome how it looks now. And hopefully it's not only looks good, it hopefully it's functional as well, but only time will show. So on this note, I hope you guys enjoying these videos, all this DIY stuff that I'm doing right now, all these skid plates and everything else. I hope you're finding them helpful. And on this note, until next time, everybody, bye.